Welcome to Nugget 368 with Steve and Dana Grumman, and we have a new year. We do. And we're going to try some new looks and some more fun things and exciting things. This year's first nugget with the Comanche Dinosaur Track Adventure that we took. It was quite an adventure. So join us as we go on a 4x4 adventure to the Picket Wire Canyonlands Comanche National Grassland. There's geologic formations, chapel ruins, rock art, historic ranch, and we got to see the eclipse that day. We did. It was fun. All right, you can hike, bike, or take a four-wheel drive vehicle into the Canyonlands. But first, if you appreciate these videos and you would like to become a sponsor, you can call us at 603-616-8907. Also, the links are in the description. Thank you for subscribing subscribing to our YouTube page, so don't forget to subscribe. If you appreciate our content, tell others and repost on your social platforms. And now to the Comanche Dinosaur Track Adventure. Picket Wire Canyonlands in southeast Colorado contains over 1,400 prints and 100 separate trackways that extend across a quarter mile expanse of bedrock. We're going to take you to see a Patasaurus and Allosaurus tracks. It's located on the Purgatory River in southeast Colorado, and we took the auto tour. We had to get reservations months and months in advance. We did, but it was worth it. Because they only meet a couple of Saturdays yeah, a year. Yeah, a couple of them. If you want to go out there, you better plan ahead and call and get reservations. We were ready to go, and there are a few rules that they have. As we mentioned, you can hike or bike or take the guided tour. That's the only way to drive in, and it's an extensive hike, so we decided, does it be different? It would be. It's, it's like eight miles, I think. But besides eight miles, you meet at the USDA Forest Service Comanche National Grasslands office in La Junta. You have to get there bright and early because this adventure is a full day from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. It was, and we wanted to be up front, we'll say, because there were about 15 of us, and uh, that's a lot of tires that were kicking up a lot of dirt. Oh, it was dusty. It was dusty, and but it wasn't too bad for us because we were up front. Right, we were right behind the ranger, and he was... Uh, it was he, moving. He was at a pretty good clip and we stayed right behind him and the lady and the husband in the car behind us stayed pretty good but everybody was dragging back after that funny. they dropped like, back <laughs> i'm not sure they were as experienced four by fours as we were but you also can see that they had these three emergency vehicles and we're like what is that for and we talked to several of these guys they were required to go out there in case something happened because a lot of times it's extremely hot we went on a very yeah. mild day people do they, they go out there and it's you know 105 106 7 degrees and they don't have any water. But it was funny, these vehicles, weren't it? It, was yeah. just, it seemed a little bit overkill. But I guess if someone's hurt and you need them, you need them. One of the first places you stop is at this geologic formation, this archway, and also see some rock art. We were there on the day of the recent eclipse. And I was so upset with myself because we have solar filters, but I didn't take them. And that's what happens. We are so <laughs> well prepared. We have all kinds of stuff in our vehicle. We had everything but the solar filters. But we're still making mistakes. That that was how it goes. And, but a guy did have a welding helmet, and it we helped. were able to catch one picture borrowing his welding helmet. To the tracks, gentle giants, beast feet. You have arrived at the largest dinosaur track in the world. Wow. That's why we went. Yeah, it was good. And they were actually pretty good. Uh, you know, you could see them. A lot of times you go see tracks that are... It's not very good, but some of these are really good. The guide was a retired teacher, and he went on and on and on. And, of course, from the evolutionary viewpoint, we wandered around the tracks, and they are truly amazing. They are. They recommend that you wear high-top hiking boots and bring water shoes. Uh, we did that. It wasn't necessary. I think flip-flops and bare feet would have worked just fine, but I'm not sure what they would have thought about that. We did take water shoes, and we walked across, because the little Purgatory River there was a little high that it day. Was going. Everybody made it across the Purgatory River. Some needed more help than others. Then the guide continued to describe the tracks. This section had been flooded. Right. And there was a lot of debris. And he had mentioned how some groups have gone out there and helped clean up the mess. It is neat that people are um, care enough about things like this to still go out there and work on them. I wouldn't mind having done that for a little bit, but we didn't have time. The sight from the sky as we crossed back over the river. 
to head back to our trucks to have lunch, we stopped at this sign and it talked about, from the air, you can see the tracks of two sauropod dinosaurs walking side by side along the lakeshore. The discovery that some types of dinosaurs lived in large herds like modern animals happened because of parallel tracks identified here in the 1930s. Research continues to unfold the intriguing story of Dinosaur Lake. This was obviously presented from the evolutionary mindset, but we enjoyed our time there. We absolutely did. We couldn't get a sky view of the tracks, but from a ledge, we were able to get these amazing pictures of the tracks. It was time to leave, and we followed the ranger to the ranch, and then that was the end of the trip. He took us out, and at one point through one of the gates, it was like we were free to go, and we cut loose because we were wanting to go see the Santa Fe Trail Ruts. And they were there. And they were awesome. And, we're and they were awesome. Always on our next adventure. Caution, hiking into the canyon is optional. Hiking out of the canyon is mandatory. Watch all of our nuggets. There are over... 300 nuggets talking about dinosaurs, space, geology, adventure, and of course, creation versus evolution. Hit the notification bell to be alerted when we post new nuggets. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. We want to encourage you to go back and watch previous nuggets. All of them. Watch them all. Right. All right. Well, thank you.